Hey everyone, Rain here. I'm going to be doing something today. I'm going to be turning all my books around. Hooray! Why? Because I've seen people do it. And also, kind of like a little mini tour of what my shelves look like now since I kind of updated them and unhauled some books. I'm not going to upload a video of what I unhauled. But anyways, we're going to start with this first shelf. Here's all the books. Normal. And let us begin. Snow Leopard Project. The Magic of Cats. If I can get it, go back in. Merle's Dog, which I honestly have no idea what it's about other than a dog. That's literally it. Like the bio on the back is like just talking about oh how this guy writes how it is close to shore which is about a shark the terrifying shark attacks of 1916 where a bunch of people who thought they were safe because they were on the river it's like no Homer's Odyssey so cute a little blind cat and that's it on that shelf. Now we're going to go down here to my warrior shelf, the first shelf, which honestly shouldn't, well, I take that back, there'll be some spinning around. We are going to be turning around the spirit eaters, which I just recently got. And even though I did read these, I kind of skimmed read them, so it's not like I actually sat and read them. So, Night Whispers, Sign of the Moon, The Forgotten Warrior, Holly Leaf, you just look so pretty. I love that style. I know there's some people that like the other style, but I like this one. And then, The Last Hope, which I believe is Fireheart, or Firestar, whatever. I don't know. My brain is not very good at recognizing the art of the cats. And then all these shall be turned. The Warriors, uh, the Apprentice's Quest. If it'll turn. Sh thunder and Shadow. I almost called it Shadow and Thunder. Oh, I guess it's a big <laughs> My alphabetical brain wanted to say something different. Shattered Sky. That was a very pretty cover. I love the cats. I love this marbling effect on that one. And then we got Darkest Night. This is probably the most turned around on the shelf that I got. Of series. Hold on, you'll have to go down for a second because I got these books kind of tight in here. River of Fire. Put you back down again. I promise I will someday get a tripod. And a better camera. The Raging Storm. Yeah, you know the drill. You're going back up. <laughs> And then we got all my novellas, and only one of them has to be turned around. This one, A Warrior Spirit, which I just recently got as well. Okay, and then we're on to my super editions. And Bramble Star Storm has to be turned around, even though I've owned that, I don't know for how long. Pretty much as long as I've had Tall Star's Revenge. Like, all the way back in the days of living in a cold, a climate. And then basically, all these bottom ones have to be turned. No kitty. You're going to be in the way. Moth Flight's Vision. Hawkwing's Journey. Tiger's Heart Shadow. Excuse the kitty. She... Just cannot avoid being in the camera when I'm doing something. Yes, your crowd loves you. They want to marry you. Now go away. 
Crow Feathers Trial. And Squirrel Flight's Hope. And I really pared down my Harry Potters. I got rid of the last four because I just couldn't stand them. So. And then on this one, we will be turning around Wolf Storm. Sorry, I'm like pressed up against a bed, so there's not really a lot of room for me to go anywhere. No, bunny. No. Up. There. Be behind me. And I'm currently reading this one, so we're not going to turn it around, but it's the German girl. And then we have some girls, some hats, and Hitler, which I got at a library sale. And then we got Julie and Julia with the book cover, the movie cover version. And that's it on the shelf. And that's it over in this section. Hooray! <laughs> One shelf down. Several more to go. Alright. <sighs> right. The corner gets tighter every minute. And then we got this shelf, which technically that should be turned as a complete Peter Rabbit, but I originally read them a long time ago, so we're not turning it. <laughs> technically, it should be, because I have not read that version. And then we have the start of another shelf, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. The Ship of the Dead, which is the third book. Why did I put it in the first? Here's the first one. Sword of Summer. <laughs> the Hammer of Thor. And I've read all these. Till we hit Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, which I just got at Target. I do not like that this is a printed on thing instead of a sticker. I mean, I don't like stickers, but at the same time, they're just as annoying. And these are all red. Now we're down here on this bottom shelf, second shelf, because this is a three shelf. And we are going to be turning around Gogi's Gambit. The Unwanted. Island of Silence, which really was the first book that got me interested in wanting to get that series. And then Wolves of the Beyond, number five, Spirit Wolf. That one's going to be waiting until I can get the other ones. So. And then we have How to Steal a Dog. Why would you want to steal a dog? There are plenty of dogs out there that don't need to be stolen. And then we have Wish. Judging by the cover, another doggy based one. I don't know. Could be, could be not. I don't know. Then we have The Secret Puppy and Other Tales. I've not read that yet. I just recently got it compared to the other one that I've had on the show. And then on my red wall, we have not read New White. We have not read The Sable Queen. Well, actually, I have just, I kind of sped read them instead of actually sitting and reading them. And that's it on that shelf. Two shelves down. Now let's get to this big bed. Just kidding. My ladder back. Okay. Whoop. It's going to be fun. Okay, Christmas Carol. We have always lived in the castle. I'm not ready yet. I just recently got it. Read all these. Have not read Time to Kill. Then we got another Charles Dickens Great Expectations. Moby Dick. Yeah, Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, 
Dracula. It's kind of weird considering it was a while ago that I read Frankenstein. Now I'm getting rid of Dracula. Of Dysdreer. Dysdreer. I have no idea how to say that name. And then there's just some miscellaneous that fit. And then on this shelf we have the Drift Tale of Prosper Redding. So we can make him move. And the sequel, The Last Life of Prince Alistair. Got a fox, it's got a cat. Wins in my book. <laughs> For me on my shelf. There. Sorry, I had to put you back down again. Then we have Holly Webb, Rose, and the Silver Ghost. Rearrange this shelf just so it's sort of tight packed so I can actually turn shit. And then Rose and the Magician's Mask. This is probably one of my smaller, less mount red shelf here. Damn ladders. I mean, I love this ladder, but at the same time, it just makes it annoying. And turn things. Okay, and pretty much everything on here is red except for these. They are a little out of order because these are taller and it just kind of look wonky, so I moved them over that way. But we got Witch Water, The Witch Herself, which are the second and third book, The Witch's Eye, which I believe is the fifth book. The Witch Returns, which is the sixth and final book. And then The Witch's Sister, which is the first. By the same lady who wrote Shiloh. And then we have Witch Weed, which is the fourth book. So they're kind of in order, but out of order. And then my most read books. Except for this one, because I just recently got that. But. And this is all my unicorn collection, and I don't have to switch any of them around. And this one, my box sets, except for this one and the ones on the end. All the other ones are part of box sets, but we need to turn two books around. Saturday is at sea. Cute little griffin. And then the wizards of once. Written by the same person who did How to Train Your Dragon. Now, we'll just stick to the floor. Because these two shelves are at the bottom. And we got my Phantom Cillians. None of which I have to turn. I sound like a squeak toy. And then we have my complete Song of Lioness and... The Immortal Gods, I forget exactly the title of that series, and then my Lloyd Alexanders, and then my one little trilogy that is not finished up as a show. We have Birth of the Firebringer. I think this is the second. Yep. Dark Moon. And the Sun of Summer Stars. And then this is all my Lillian Jackson Bond, the Cat Who series that I have. We read them all. A few of them I've read more than once. <laughs> I feel so proud of myself. And then on this shelf, I believe we only have one that I have not read. The Lovely Bones. If you're wondering why some of these have like horrendous creases in them and a lot of them don't it's because the ones with a lot of creases in them are usually the ones that I bought used <laughs> had used bookstores or found it Goodwill or somewhere and then on this shelf we have and then we were there were none by Agatha Christie I just 
got this one a little bit ago. And then this one we have Hunt Couture and Gross Galore because my life has to seem to curse me where I have an insatiable desire to miss out on the third book in the series. I am currently reading Dial M for Ming Coon. There's my little magnet. And then we have this. Okay, then we gotta turn these around. Night shift. Again, with them being tightly packed and <laughs> needled to death, which is the first book. I should have turned that one first. It was further away. So there you go. And then up here we have Left for Dead. A cute little bunny rabbit because I have a bunny rabbit. She's currently outside right now. So, gotta represent. And then Who's Dead Doc? And almost everything else is read on here except for A Knight's Tale, which I bought new at Barnes and Noble, but somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I think their shipping process is screwy. And then up here we have just some children's books I have. Sorry if my hand's shaking. I've had a long day. A little tired. Then we're moving out here to the more extensive shelves. Okay. And we're on this shelf. And then we're on to the first ones we gotta turn around. Tale of Magic. And Tale of Witchcraft. Oh, Whale of the Wild. And we got Braver, a Wombat's Tale. How to get away with Myrtle. <laughs> Premeditated Myrtle. I love these puns. And uh, one of my rare YA books, A Wicked Magic. And then we have my <laughs> leather bound. I'm not flipping them out, but I'm going to show you. I'm really in Okay. I don't know. I really don't know. And that one's done. And I got these. And another one I got from the library. The Swan Maiden. Shelf, which is on the board. Okay. And we got Holiday Protectors, which is a little collection of books. Yuletide Threat, again, written by different authors. You've got Mail. Marrying Winterborn. Bride. And we got Just Imagine by Susan Elizabeth Phillips, the only one I have not read by her yet. And there says, Laundry, how are you? Turn around. Who 
framed Roger, or who censored Roger Rabbit, but that is the book that framed Roger Rabbit is based on. Uh, a lush and seeding hill, which is two novellas put together. And we have Bear Town. Sub which I got from Dollar General and Good Girls Lie, which I believe I got at Walmart. And we're on to my Gina Showalter show and a little random dolphin. Thank you. Haven't read The Darkest Torment, The Darkest Promise. The females, the main character this time. The darkest warrior. And we are on to the show. Okay. Honey, Jesus. Yeah. Storm cursed. Fire touched. These two. Fortune Fool and one good night. And I knocked over my. Okay, well, there we go. There's all my books that I have not read yet. Mainly because I do not have a room for a little TBR rack like some other YouTubers. So we make do with what we got. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the random talking because a lot of people don't seem to realize when I'm holding my phone in a certain way, I'm recording. So anyway, see you later. Bye.